Hey YouTube, how you doing? Well, I was just singing that song, um, Fleetwood Mac, The Chain, you know, you'd never break the chain. Well, talk about cutting the cord. I had just uploaded a video and I was getting in the swing and stuff, you know, letting bad things that happen set it aside and moving on you know and i'm not going to stop because you know things need to be said in this world and i'm going to say them as graceful as i can if it doesn't come out graceful at that moment no apologies because you know when you're good you're good that and god carries you if people accept that in other people put the nitpicking crap aside because you know that's a good soul anyway if you really, I mean, if they're really tricking you, I just heard something outside, but it was just a tarp. But if they're really tricking you, yeah, okay, that does happen. But I think basically most people are kind of decent. And if they're not, if they're really dirty, well, of course you're going to know, you know. But even the kind of decent you can sort of work with. But, but yeah, so uploading my video the other day and um we got a new lawnmower because the horse passed away you know and gotta get a a trimmer too and um well anyway so it's uh like it went from a 44 inch deck to a 48 and zoom right hand turn and I heard him hit the cord, and I knew I had a premonition that was going to happen because they only buried 25 feet. We didn't know from our satellite to the house. So, I mean, I taught my horse to step over it, and she's not stupid. So, And I just told her, if you want to get tangled in ropes, ropes, I can help you, you know. So, and she understood. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, Zoom, and he got that sucker, so for like nine days till today, just now, um, I've been offline, and Doug thought they were coming tomorrow, and I told him, you told me Wednesday, and he's like, yeah, well, Thursday, and I'm like, I'm thinking, we'll see, but then it will just be a happier surprise for him, because he went to the um, library twice, checking his business emails, you know, so um so keeping in touch with the world because our phone's out when our we used to have a landline but if the electric goes down that's down so um same with the satellite dish though but yeah so that was a bummer but i had things to do and occupied my time but um and watched regular television which I like to catch the weather in our area anyway. And I've always known who's saying what's true or false in my life, all my life anyway. So, <laughs> for the most part, unless I was really small. So, I do have a lot of things on my mind. I did deep clean my phone. Um, so, I'll just sit here and visit with you and when things come to my mind and talk about them, you know, so. <laughs> so, yeah, yesterday I did have a rough day, though, because I've had really horrible allergies lately. And I normally don't, so I kind of think it's something in the atmosphere, um, like all the stuff they're spraying, you know, is making me sick because it's just, I'm just like, oh. You know, I literally went to take a drink and just about choked because um, my throat just started closing up. So, yeah, I did take allergy pills the last two days. So that does help. But, oh, it was rough. But, yeah, yesterday, I went, see, I like I told Doug now, and I proved I'm crying like a baby. Bad things happen, you know, whatever. Not not that day, just the cumulative effects of life and everything that just doesn't stop, you know. One thing right after another constantly. 
you know, so I'm crying and he goes, well, yeah, and the doctors say this for depression. I said, I'm not depressed. And so he tried to make me laugh, and I did laugh, and it was real laughter as tears are still streaming down my face. And I told him, I have told doctors this, I have told psychiatrists, and I've worked in the neurological fields in my life, and it's like, no, I am going to prove to you right now. And I wasn't mad, and but I'm still crying. I couldn't stop the tears. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the bad things. It was my body feeling it. That still, I told him, like, depression is ooh, like you're getting squished down. I said, I don't feel like that. You know, and I'm still kind of laughing at a couple of things he says. Because sometimes he's just kind of either trying to be funny or God's helping him out to help me. One of the two. Don't know. But. But having bad things happen to you, it's like I've had this ana analogy, and it, it's the only one that really makes sense to get the point across, is if I had a really naughty child, and it grows up, and it comes in, and it keeps messing around the house like doo-doo, like a bad puppy, pretty soon you're going to get rid of the puppy, you know, your, or the kid the man. So pretty soon you're going to tell the man to go pee in his own house or whatever. That's my point. That's my point with all the bad stuff. Pretty soon you just get sick of the filth and you get sick of the crap and you, you know, you can have a big enough heart and it goes so far and it goes and it really, and it doesn't stop going and it's just not like that. But after a while, you will stop interacting with people as much as you desire to do in your life. I mean, the love that you can get together, think of like millions of voices in the world singing the same song at the same time. Whoa, could you imagine? Yes, God could orchestrate that just like going into our hearts that quick, you know. Because Doug and I had a debate on that last night. And he told me twice, so it's not possible. And I told him, oh, yes, it is. Just like the, the blood in our veins and how God is connected to all of us like that. You better believe it. And then I made him admit it, and he did. It took me three tries. I'm not giving up. It's like this is how this works, you know. <laughs> so that's truly singing a new song going to the most intelligent of the my adversaries bloodline hunting them like they were hunting me in spirit and then on the physical realm you know literally and something robin's hood said um it was yesterday's video the first one i chose was called daily wounds um and I'm thinking, whoa, yesterday he was like feeling that energy in the atmosphere too. Because the day before was the first day of summer. As far as um, linear, lunar, lunar, or you know, linear, um, the lunar cycle. So anyway, it was the first day of summer two days ago, three days ago now. So yeah, we've all been feeling it, you know. I'm thinking, don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> See, I have plastic in my throat. Two pieces from having my tonsils out. They did the first um, plastic surgery in North, North Memorial Hospital in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Kind of a big deal back then. I think they took my DNA <laughs> because I don't trust them and I never did. But, you know, it's pretty helpless, so jerks <laughs> really um well i've had a few operations where i wasn't totally under and another time they literally well twice they tried to kill me well there's yeah more than that actually you'd be surprised and amazed but it's the god's honest truth <laughs> you know it's like 
whoa, <laughs> what the human body can't go through <laughs> and survive, you know. So when you meet the satanic bloodline and they know you're a badass like that, it kind of spooks them. It's like a ghost. It's like seeing Christ and like, it's like, boo, you know. I think that's hilarious, you know, because we are stronger with God. The tiniest human with God's um, grace inside them is stronger than any satanic um, God guides them out of any given situation, even if it's um, from their flesh, you know. So, because then we know that how Satan's constantly badgering our flesh. We know our soul is in there because that's what's fighting it, you know. And it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like I told him, he um said something the other day he goes you're out of your mind um it wasn't like that like an insult otherwise i might have took his head off his body but um anyway getting back to the point i said yes i absolutely am i said look at this shit i said i'm in here and the this shit is out here I said, I'm absolutely out of my mind. I can't stand it. How do you like it? You know, <laughs> I want the um, glorified God body God's going to give me and the grace inside to live in it without this putrid bullshit on this planet. Any dark vibe that comes into my life, I mean, it's not like I actually even battle it anymore. It's like I just like, let it flow on by, you know, it's like a roller coaster. And, but I'm standing back here watching the roller coaster, you know, so most of the time. But when it comes to like children and grandchildren and things like that, um, that roller coaster ride is a little more like, hey, my baby's up on that thing and it's going to get hurt. And I'm like climbing up there to get that kid out of there, you know so yeah it's a little different then and i do feel like that about everybody in the world i really do i'm a defender like that you know and so i'm never giving up so i was going to make a video today anyway even though doug thought that they they weren't coming till tomorrow but i was going to make one and have it ready to upload so yeah <laughs> It's kind of the same old, same old on Facebook. So I probably won't be on there much anyway. Maybe because, well, but there's a lot of people talking about things that I would talk about anyway. And they're doing a fantastic job. And I will share things that people that I know aren't aware of. But just about everybody I know. And I haven't had a lot of new people that I've added on there. Um, you know, if they share them, that's the way it kind of should be. If they feel an appreciation of reading them, they should share them for other people. Maybe, given, given what a person's doing in their life. So I won't go judging on that note. You know, it's just like, but um, there, there's people that I've put some just, that will share some really, really great stuff, but I'll put some phenomenal stuff out there, like the instant learning tool in this area, boom, end of hassle, end of um, all that, you know. But I guess in time, God gives us each one what we need to know when we need to know it for our own growth, so I trust that. I do trust that. But dang, some people are just like, whew, takes a while. You know, they're so stubborn. You know? And part of two is self survival and fear. That will, um, Satan will play on that with people. No, it didn't work very good with me. I'm, I'm way stubborn. It, that's not even an issue. <laughs> you know, it never has been. 
my report card when I was in grade school, probably second grade, said, and I am proud of it, incorrigible. Um, I'm not slow. You could teach me, but you can't encourage me or sway me, you know. Um, and I'm, uh, and that's the way I am too. I'll listen to everybody and consider it. I'm, I'm open to consideration, <laughs> you know, barely at this age, you know, and what I actually really do know in my heart. Um, yeah, so part of me. <laughs> That's what I say to God only, <laughs> you know. No, if I, if I like stepped on your foot, I'd probably say, pardon me, <laughs> or bumped you in a crowd, you know. I'd never ask a judge to pardon me. I'd say, excuse yourself, you know. I sure would. That's what I told Satan, your excuse, now go to your room, you know. He said, what? And he fucking laughed, and I said, you heard me. I said, get to your room. When you're naughty, you go to your room with no supper, maybe, you know. My kids, I always give them supper, even if Doug didn't want them to, but I, I don't know. He's good. You know, <laughs> may not been what they wanted, but it most likely not, unless I was like really had work early the next day or something, and I'd be like, "They're gonna pay for it this weekend." Yeah, you'll do something extra for that one. You know, it's the way it is. Got to pay to play around me. <laughs> you know. It's a fact. I told Doug one thing when I first met him, and this is the ultimate thing. I love God. I trust God. And I will never trust another human being entirely in all the way. Not like that. It's not happening. You know, if somebody says, well, you can believe this or trust that, I'm like, well, you know, I'll, I'll determine that one. You know, thanks anyway. But I trust no one. Like they said on the X-Files, I, I was born saying that, you know. You got to do what you got to do when you're alone and you're little, you know. You you um, you um learn survival instincts like um running through woods and you get to know your surroundings. And so you can survive, you know, whatever it takes in the city or whatever, you know. I did crazy things like jumping from buildings to building the buildings and scaling them and fire escapes were fun and, you know, some crazy city stuff, you know, whatever. I always preferred the country stuff anyway. But I had to be careful because my dad worked for the city and if I was like running away or skipping school or something, I had to, and they'd grid gridlock you yeah, with the cops and everything and then you had your city workers and they all had communication it's like so i had to really be sneaky so, yeah in my days <laughs> in fact i evaded the law more after age 12 on up until i got um considered an adult i proved why i was running away you know, I also proved while I ran away, I got employment and took care of myself. So, yeah. Boy, I was a long tow road. <laughs> Two tow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some kind of good shows on, um, you know, regular TV, like, I like uh, Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay. He had revisited ones last night. That was really excellent. Um, oh, we watched some Emerald Lagasse, Chef. 
um, I watched some home remodeling stuff in Saturday, Bob Vila had a, oh, an apartment and a condo that they purchased that they were going to redo that. It had a couple really nice, um, one kind of a small balcony, one bedroom, nice little apartment though. And some really weird storage areas. They're going to knock a wall out because for like clothes, it's uh, set up really with little tiny, like maybe they tried to have kids in that one area or I don't know. It was very strange. I don't know. So he bought that and they're going to redo it. And, you know, anyway, things like that. Well, the phone just rang, and after, you know, a week of no phone, which is, I went a long time, Doug and I took the phone out for a while. We're just like, no. Because when I got to the point, after running businesses like my drywall, and then um, working for other people in different, you know, office settings, my my one of my last before I decided to take the phone out for a while was um oh let's see now what did I say Doug and I aren't able to come to the phone at this moment. Um if we want to call you back we will thank you. <laughs> and that was all I said, you know. So yeah, when you get to that point and then you really don't have anybody you're worried about, they don't call you and you don't, we didn't care. It's like, why pay for a phone? We don't need it right now. So, yeah, we went like that. And there's times when you're young and we couldn't afford phones. It's like, hey, we lived, you know. So it wasn't really all that big of a deal. I don't answer the phone all the time anyway. I don't let that thing control me, you know. I don't let anything control me except God. So, things of that. Oh, so they finished burying the cable up there. It was buried for 25 feet. We always thought they'd come back and finish the job, but we didn't know that they only give you the 25 feet. So for them even to suggest because of the location where the dish had to be that far away from the house is probably, oh, I'm going to say it's probably 60 feet maybe. So, yeah. And Doug's like, well, like, I want it buried up to there, you know. And they had it going over a box truck. It just really looked straight where the carport is. <coughs> and it's like, wow, this looks bad. Because we have from a DTV, we have, or direct TV, we have um, cables on the front of the house that have to come off before it can even be sighted out there. I did paint it, but it's like, eh, you know, stuff gets old. I just want to bulldoze it and move up north, <laughs> you know, or leave it for storage. But then we'd have to pay taxes on it. So I don't know if there's any kids around, and I like them at the end of all my, my life. <laughs> Whatever. I, you know, my point, I care about them, but I don't care anymore, you know. Because I really worked hard to keep this place we did. And it's like, man, I'm not just going to hand it over to people that don't even like me, actually. You know, it's like, yeah. Kind of that's, that's what I asked Doug, too. I go, I told him, like, oh, probably about four days ago, he was talking, 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 talking. And then, you know, drinking or insulting me. And I'm like, you don't even like me. You know, the hell you're yapping, talking to me. You know, you don't care about my opinion. Well, I do too. And I, I don't care about your opinion. So don't say anything. You know, don't talk. Shh. Don't speak. 
I know what you're thinking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, just some straight up conversation. Last night we watched a show. I um asked him a couple times if he wanted to watch the TV, and he read some Epoch Times um newspaper that he gets. So he read a couple of them. He was behind on, and uh, you know, but that gets boring and. So I'm in here. I got my um, sound bar and bass or subwoof and uh, vis visualizations. Um, I put the alchemy one in and stuck in some dark side of the moon. Um, and so I'm in here like jam and asked him if he wanted to see. Um, <laughs> here's some good tunes, you know, because all he's got is country out in his shop and um, his TV. I don't know if it, actually my big, big TV um, doesn't want to behave for Doug. I think I can just make it work, but he's so mad at it. It's a smart TV. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I got, I got three TVs actually. He's got one in the shop, but he doesn't have it hooked up. So, and he's got tunes out there, but, and then in some of the vehicles, there's music, but anyway <laughs> see yeah i was just gonna get going and um give my friends that i love so much more in uh, inspiration like yeah we're getting beat on because our hearts are good my brothers and sisters you know and um but we're not gonna let them win with our spirits you know because we can't stop loving the way we love too bad you know we know what is clean and good and right, and we're sticking to it, you know, it's just the way it is, you know, some things will never change. <laughs> oh, there he is. Can't believe you, I can believe you, I knew, I seen him, I seen him in my mind's eye about a, probably about a week and a half before he zoomed over that cable that he knew. I taught my horse not to touch it. I mean, come on, you know, what I would have done, but this is just me. I operate like this. I would have um, hung it over a branch because I have a flowering crab right outside here. And um, yeah, I would have just like, you know, <laughs> but, but it, I got a, Doug, if you're watching this, yes, it's a new mower, and I know it's a little more powerful, and, and you were zooming, and it was hot out, so it's all good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, I'll have one more cigarette and talk to everybody, and then I, you know, and I don't know really that it's so much that I got to worry about what's going on in the world or telling anybody anything about anything because people aren't stupid it's just you know saying hey and I love you and you know um if you're not one of the bad ones you're one of the good ones and life isn't so pleasant for us out here right now so um yeah, you got people that love and respect you, people like me. That's my point. So don't let the bad ones get to you because they think they're getting away with something to bully us into more um, centuries of um, keeping us in the dark while they have electricity, you know, that type of feeling. So anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, tomorrow's supposed to be really hot, and I was hoping that that guy, he's a kid to me, and I was thinking, I hope that kid, the same one now for the last couple times, just, um, I hope it really is today. I was thinking for a few days, because I don't want him out there in that heat, digging that crap, and it's um, out in the open most of it. Some of the work would be in the shade, but it's like, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm sure he gets enough of that in his life anyway, you know. 
some of us, if we worked out in the elements, you know, no matter what you got to do, make your world go around, and that's awful, you know. So, yeah, that's hard working. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I probably will cut this one off, and I don't know about this evening. Maybe I'll find time. Um, I think I'm just going to have something easy. So I did last night. Um, Doug bought me some nice stuff from the store. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, I had some fresh salted peanuts. And I'm not supposed to have them. But I can limit myself and have a little bit. But yeah. So I controlled myself with a decent, not too hideous amount, you know, that type of supper. So. Yeah, part of my supper, and then I had some smoked fish and um, Kit Kats and uh, little tiny Kit Kats, and I limited myself on them too. So, because instead of like just getting a whole big candy bar to eat myself, you know, if I have little ones and they were harder, they're the new thin ones. They're a little weird to open. They're a little funky, but it takes more time, so you just can't cram them in your face anyway. So, and that was good for me last night because I, like I said, I wasn't really feeling all that great. I had a emotional day. And, yeah, and that still is my point. Um, sadness is not depression. Depression can come from head injuries. And even depression can be physical injuries. And it can be psychological injuries but in my case I've lived past my 227,000 nervous breakdown by the time I was seven years old so that was just all bullshit to me you know people playing psychological games and analyzing people's minds and you know I grew up around that bullshit you know um it's like I really don't do that. I look inside a person's soul. I see who they are. They see who I am. And everything's copacetic, you know, kosher. Or I would prefer righteous, you know. So, yeah, it was pretty cool today. Um, uh, Doug's friend met, um, bought our Mustang while we traded a bunch of stuff and but came down today, so Doug Smith, they had lunch together, and they're out laughing about cars and motors and whatever. So, And I was going to do this anyway, so it was perfect timing. So, Okay, peace, everybody. It's uh, somebody I respect. Robin, I'll go past the, well, 33 and whatever you get. I'll just, like, make it, like, almost 34. Can't take a guy's number. You know, it don't work like that. So, okay. Peace and love, everybody. Have a good day or night.